Today we are going to do a shoot with not the greatest lighting situation and one simple trick to solve it. I'm Scott Robert Lim. Let's shoot some pictures. I'm going to show how you can take a adverse lighting situation and make a positive at it and create a very dramatic shot. Sometimes you're dealing with a lot of harsh light and harsh shadows, but if you use this technique and you just do this one tip, nose to the light, you will get a great shot every time. Let me show you how to do this. So here I'm in super bright sun. And if I have Sarah look off this way and she's not looking at the sun, now it looks okay because the light is somewhat even, but if I'm shooting her here, it's gonna look very, like she's gonna have hot spots and shadows on her face when that sun is really bright. So can you get into the sun a little bit more? Right here, right? See how that sun that bright is? Now turn your face away, right? And if I'm shooting here, I'm getting some very odd shadows and it doesn't look good. But if I just see it simply keep, keep your face to that light, I've got a, she's, perfectly exposed and she's got beautiful catch lights and I can get this kind of shadowy bright look because she's bright but around her slightly darker so your camera will actually exaggerate the contrast of lighting and will come off as a very dramatic shot because of the shadow and the darkness. And so now I'm kind of slightly underexposing it. I'm at 1.8 ISO 400, but my shutter speed is at like a 1600th of a second. It's a little bit high. I can bring my ISO down if I want to, but I love this dramatic because basically with your human eye, you're seeing her almost evenly lit. But when you turn your camera on, because your camera is not as good as your eyes, you're seeing bright and dark, and the contrast is dramatic if you expose her for the face. Your eyes are a lot better than your lens, and so you can't see that subtlety there, but as you keep shooting and understand this, you can start to see it. And so it looks very, very dramatic when I do it, and it looks like through my camera, it looks like her face is lit, and then everything else below her is dark and it has an amazing dramatic feel to it. So she's just gonna keep look, look that way. And no matter what you do, as long as she keeps her, her and then let's say the sun is too strong, right? Just close your eyes and feel that sun on your face, right? And put one hand above on the top, like you're leaning back. How about the other hand? Right, right, and just feel like you're sunbathing there, right? And, and when you keep that chin up like that, it can be very a dramatic look. And even if it's super bright, you still can get a shot by having her just close her eyes like that. And then if it's too bright, you could say on a count of two, open your eyes. One, two, boom. Then you can click it. And then I can, so I like doing a variety. And this looks great because what she's wearing, I feel like I'm in Africa right now, but I'm just in Monrovia, California. <laughs> And this, and then now I, oh my gosh, I come over here and I see the beautiful blue behind her uh, with the other sky on the other side. And that really looks fantastic. The blue of the sky and the kind of orange pattern, brown pattern of her dress really matches. And it, ooh, I love that. Look straight out over there. Ooh, yeah, that's killer right there. And if, can you get, let's see, now nah, it's too hot, forget it. Do that again. Look out that way. Good. Good, look down at me a bit. Turn your head this way and look back at me. Yeah, there you go. So I'm always trying to keep her nose a little bit to that light uh, because if she'll turn away, just go ahead and turn away right now. I'll get a broadside light, but right now when I shoot, her nose is in darkness. And so it doesn't look good, but if I just keep her that way, I can go shot after shot after shot. I can get a good shot. 
So as you can see, even when you're in bright light, if you follow that one tip of just keeping the nose to the light, you can get some great dramatic shots, even when you think that the sun is harsh. That was just one of many tips and tricks I teach my students in my classes. With the link below, you can get my class on Introduction to Photography Lighting for free. I hope to see you in the classroom. I'm Scott Robert Lim. Let's shoot some pictures.